All right, what we're doing today is we're meeting Kev over at a lake. Um, Kev, Kev called me up and asked if I wanted to go, so we're meeting him over there with his boat. We'll probably throw some bass baits and night crawlers and hopefully catch a different array of stuff. Getting our first little view of the lake here and the boat launch. There's still a good amount of people here and it's raining out, you know? Imagine if it was a nice, warm, sunny uh morning here it'd be loaded probably wouldn't even be able to find a spot so i'm gonna park somewhere here and <clears throat> wait for kev to roll up all right we got our first keeper what was it 14 to three quarter look at how freaking silver that fish is spawned out that's our second one so rain's letting up a little bit one for the box Nice. Should have went over my tactic. Yeah. <laughs> People would be like, "What the?" We hell? We, we might have to. <laughs> you got quite the uh, quite the quite the art here. form going there for bass fishing. Ca cast trolling. The uh, two packs of Yamamoto's. There we go. You're on. Oh, that one just got reeled too. Oh, look at that. Decent little guy. Good yeah, eater, huh? really good. It's a giant. Good eater. Oh, look at that. Look at that rod getting just shook. Yeah, on there. There he is. Oh, it's oh, a hog. Nice Real nice. Right. Oh no! Right here by the boat. He hit it right here. It's loaded, I'm not Kev. Be able to eat tonight. Yeah, you're gonna starve. Nope, yep, gonna starve now. Oh, that's got some weight. Very nice, good eater. Perfect. Yeah. Look at how nice. Orange there. Any bigger and we'd have to throw them back, right? Yeah, we don't keep them big ones. <laughs> <Not the lead. laughs> no, oh. Nope, bass. Giant bass. It's, it's a hog. This is probably the one that was jumping up in there. Yeah. Well, here's a little update. We went boat launches down there and we came all the way up this edge. And then we went up and around that corner came back but we hit the gills right in this stretch right here kevin got i don't know what'd you get five six of them probably so we're gonna try to run back through here we're headed back oh yeah oh and that nice big bass too a little crappie oh yeah that's right small crappie so at least we won't go hungry but we just got a a sinker that's got a stuck in a weed. We just got a split shot and a hook and a night crawler, half a night crawler, and we're just throwing it back and just kind of letting it drift as we as we float along here. Kevin's hitting the trolling motor, kind of pushing us along periodically, right? Not consistent. It's a nice day. Oh. So we're gonna keep plugging along here. We'll see what we get. Oh, that guy's showing off over there, isn't he? <laughs> yeah. Uh oh, you getting hit too? Little guy, I think. Oh! Ow, 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 ow! Sucker! Wow, that's a pretty fish. Yeah, what do you think? Oh, that's a good one. Look at that. Oh, should be good if he swallowed it. This rod's a little. Oh, yeah. Can you rip his lips? Maybe. I'm not him. used to this. No, he's on. I'm not used to this freaking 12 foot rod. Oh, yeah, good eater. Yeah. As I was feeding that one, this one got railed. So we're this back. Is the pocket. We're back into them, aren't we? This is the pocket. 
Whoops. Something to get used to. Yeah, them are perfect eating gills. Them are right there, right there. That's a big fish. Oh my gosh. Feed it to him. He's on. on. Yeah, he's, he's on. on. Wow. Here we go. I'm on too here in a second. That was a big one, eh? Sure oh, like yeah. You need the net? Oh, he's... Is he... Look at that. That's a good one. Okay, about uh, bent the rod completely. Man, he that. swallowed it. Hopefully that pops off. I think. I'm either pulling a big stick or there's a fish that went down the weeds. Oh, yeah, look. Big oh, old log. stick. Look at that. Just caught a nice... Log. Nice stick there. One, oh, there's two of them. Two snapper? Yeah, look at the ones in front. The one in the back's bigger. Right now, it would be so easy to have a bobber mm -hmm. if it was turtle season. You can go catch them. It's a giant. Mm -hmm. Got one? Yeah. Double. Oh, look at that. Giant. Yeah, I'll open it up for you here, eh? Yeah, we're starting to get a mess in there now. Yeah, definitely. Really clean looking. Uh -huh. Usually they're dingy. Yeah, that's what I thought last time. I don't remember them being that, that silver. That last time we were here. That is a that's a nice perch right there. Look at that. It's like we're back up in Tequamanon. You can have all the fish, I'll take that one. Okay. <laughs> right down. Nice. Silver bass. Oh, what is it? Got him. Oh, look at that one going off. No, it's going off. Yeah. Once you see it going, you just pick it up a little bit, give him some spark, and boom, he's on. <laughs> Double. Yeah, I think I'm gonna throw him back. Though. Really? Should I should throw that one back no, right there? Right? He's got too much orange on him to throw he's that too back. Pretty. Oh, and he's bleeding. Can't throw him back. We're running out of worms here. We only got a couple worms left. We got this nice perch. Hopefully, we can get a few more of them. What's your fishing report, Kev? What do you think? How's the day going? We got a lot of fish. Come take a look. Oh yeah. Look at all them perch in there too. Yeah, all the yellow bellies. Mm -hmm. You seen color yet? <gasps> oh, what is that? Get the net. Get the net. What is it? Oh, it's a catfish. Bullhead. Oh, perfect. You love eating bullhead. <laughs> <laughs> Look at that. Mixed species today. Yeah. That's nice. A, that's actually. Oh, he's got some stuff going on. Look that's it. a big one. Look at the red spots on him though. He's got something wrong with him. That's one of the bigger bullheads I've ever seen. All right, we're taking one more pass back to the back to the boat launch here. And we got to zip out of here really quick. We're out of worms. We both got stuff to do later on today. So thanks for watching. I think you're gonna take these home, right? All of them? No. Yeah, just take them all because I got. Um, I'm gonna go to Ken's. You'll so, have to take your bass. Well, that that was yours. That's your bass. I mean, I'll take it. I don't care. It's your bass. I don't mind. I'll take it. We did that's, pretty good. That's a lot of fish. You want that bass or no? You can keep it. Throwing back then? No, really? Yeah, I got a lot of fish. Oh, I'll take it. Definitely, I'll take He's that. It's still way lively. Yeah, I'll take it. Let me get a little container. Yeah. I'll find something. Got a Menards bag. That'll work. Draining the live well. Yeah, I'll take some. Whatever you don't want. We have over 30 fish in here. Oh, really? Yeah. Okay. Do you want some other ones? Sure. These boxes are really nice to reuse when it gives you a good work surface. And then I save all the little cutoffs that get in the way. If you're doing a lot of fish, these tend to get um, wore out and saturated. And then when you're, by the time you're ready to start skinning them, how I do, uh, 
once that's all wet and stuff like that, you can lay another one on here and have a fresh board to, to skin them. Really nice bass. Kevin actually caught this one. We're gonna get right after this here. Basically, same thing right behind the gill plate. Come down, right down along the backbone. and over and then there's pin bones on a bass they're a little farther in right there and come down there's a fillet I'll just skin that right now same thing Really nice bass fillet. To me, when you fry it up, it's no different than um, bluegill or or crappie or anything like that. So I would definitely um, give bass a try. So we're just gonna stick it in the ice here. I like to try to keep everything cold, especially if you um, keep them overnight. You wanna keep them as cold as possible. I only got like Maybe seven, I think I took a couple three perch and and uh, a couple bluegill and a little crappie. So it's not going to take me too long to um, play these. But you want to try to keep them as cold as possible. If they're fresh, you can get away with leaving them. You know, not really, really keeping them too cold. They're within the first hour or so, I'd say. But right now... Um, I'm going to try to hit these as quick as I can and um, get them in the fridge, probably cook them up. I'll show you. Maybe I'll cook the bass up and show you what that looks like. But, yeah. Pretty nice one. This one's really silver. Very silver bass. It's a large mouth bass. And then, then we got bluegill, crappie, perch. So, not bad. And Kevin took majority of them. I just took a few to lighten his load on flan, so. Over top of the ribs. All right, well, we got a nice little uh, batch of fish here. And then when it's hot out here like this, we don't really have any place to throw them. We're in town here, obviously, but I'll just take all these and throw them in a freezer bag or a couple grocery bags and then whip them in the freezer. And then they stay cold and then the trash just came this morning. So we'll throw it in there next weekend, take it out of the freezer, throw it in there or else it would reek all week long if we stuck that fish in there it would be not pleasant so stick them down here somewhere we're starting to run out of uh steaks here only got a couple steaks left and got a decent amount of venison left over so but we're running dry october 1st is uh our opening day of bow season for whitetail so that uh, we're gonna be cutting it close this year, so we may have to uh, go do some some more fishing to keep the uh, food coming. So majority of what we eat is is uh, stuff that we go out and catch and cook pretty much. So I, I would say I would beg to say probably oh geez I don't know eighty percent of what we um, eat here is either deer or, or uh, fish that we catch in some way shape or form so we don't really we don't buy beef or 
I buy chicken from the local chicken place here and there when we want something different, but majority of the stuff we're eating is venison, so, and fish. But it's more rewarding that way, it tastes better. But, all right, we're gonna cook it up later. See you later. That's where we're at right now. Now once that oil is nice and hot, then I'll, then I'll whip it in there, but <clears throat> I like to cook out here on this because it's like, it was like 90 degrees today and, and if we were to cook in the house, it'd be screaming and make the house warm and uh, you get the smell of fish it stays outside. It doesn't linger in the house. So these are a good option if you have that on the side of your grill. You ready for some fish, Hazel? Oh geez, that's ready. Way ready. Get that big bass splay. Good. I better get in there and get a plate quick. We're gonna put one of these together real quick. Um Tonight, we sometimes we go all out and we do make a big thing of pico and stuff, but we just got sour cream and cheese and hot sauce and um, just something we whipped up together. So this is how we, we do tacos. Here, I'll make one real quick. Really nice piece of bass. I don't know how you couldn't like that right there. That's nice. I'm not going to take the whole chunk here. Put a piece on there, little red and green. All right, pretty basic, but good. Give her a try here. That bass is good. Mmm. Good? I'll give it like two thumbs up. We're going to eat this up and hang out the rest of the night, but thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. I think we're going to be going after some uh, snapping turtle. Mm. July 15th. It opens up, the seasons open up, and never, never went after snappers, but we're going to give it a shot this year, so keep an eye out for that video.